Hey YouTubers, I have my basic instructions before leaving Earth. The rejection of truth always leads to the desire to eliminate the truth. Man kills God. I want to read Proverbs 2. My son, if thou won't receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thy ear unto wisdom and apply thy heart to understanding, yea, if thou carest after knowledge and lift up thy voice from understanding, if thou seekest her as silver, and searches her for her as for hidden treasure. Then shalt thou understanding the fear of the Lord, and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He laid up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is buckler to them that walketh upright. He keepeth the path of judgment, and preserves the way of his saints. Then shalt thou understand righteousness, and judgment, and iniquity. And yea, yea, every good path, when wisdom endureth in thine heart, the knowledge is pleasure unto thy soul. Destruction shall preserve thee, decision shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee, to deliver thee from the way of the evil man. From the man that speaketh forward things, who leaveth the path of unrighteous to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice to do evil and delight in the forwardness of the wicked, whose ways are crooked and they forward in their paths, to deliver thee from the strange woman, even from the stranger which flattereth with her words, which forsaketh the guide of her youth, and forgot, forgotteth the covenant of her God. For her house declineth unto death, and her path unto the dead. None that go unto her return again, neither take thy hold of the path of life. That Thou mayest walk in the way of good men, and keep the path of righteousness. For the upright shall dwell in the land, and the perfect shall remain in it. But the wicked shall be cut off from the earth, and the transgressors shall be rooted out of it. Well... I think that right there had a, really a lot to say in those little short 22 verses. And I looked up wisdom, the one that applied to this, uh, to Proverbs, 20, uh, Proverbs 2. And it's skillful wisdom, wittily wit, wisely wit. And it is 2451. And it gives you another number. 2449. To be wise in mind. Words are act. Exceedingly. Teach wisdom. Make wiser. I say if people. If they would read the Bible. Then they would see. What God went through. What Jesus went through. What people are going through now. And I think it's very important at these last days. I don't know if anybody knows it or not, but um, uh, they're going to start doing the drones now. So here's your wisdom. Rely on Jesus Christ because he's the only thing that can help us now. And, well, he's the only thing, period. So all I can say is... is Come, Lord, quickly. Come, Lord. <laughs> I love you, tubers. If you have any questions or anything, let me know. I'll do my best to answer you. Love y'all. Bye.